Governor Roy Cooper has declared a state of emergency after floodwaters take over homes across North Carolina. Sky Fox flying over the Catawba River this afternoon. As you can see, homes surrounded by water there. Some of the floodwaters have started to recede, but it will still take days before families can clean up the mess caused by the heavy rains. Fox 46 meteorologist Elisa Rafa is live from Riverside Drive tonight. And Elisa, how are the levels out there right now where you are? I know a lot of that community is worried because they've had flooding problems in the past. Yeah, Lindsay, things are not looking great here, but they are truly looking so much better than they did this morning. Floodwaters this morning made it all the way up to this gray home. You can still see some of the water lines on that foam pole. Again, this is the corner of Riverside Drive and Lake Drive. And you can see the water still taking up about half, almost half of the length of that fence. Where I see the most improvement is this home right here. The water came up the driveway. You see those white garage doors? You can kind of still see the dirt where that water was this morning uh, really coming up those garage doors the water extends 100 feet down the block here as residents are trying to find this water recede out of their front yards and they're trying to make progress down the block here now crews were here overnight into this morning both emergency management and fire crews with boats just in case no one needed to be rescued no one was injured and many residents stayed in their homes to wait out the flooding as those rivers crested to 103 feet. It has uh, reached the foundations of some homes, but we've had no impact to living areas. Um, and at this time, we are not expecting it to get any worse. It has crested and beginning to recede at this time. Again, waters are receding here and it looks much better. What I'm concerned about now is snakes. Officers tell me they've seen three just within the last couple of minutes. So uh, we'll let you know if we find any. Brian, Lindsay. The waters are receding across North Carolina, but the damage remains. Governor Roy Cooper declared a state of emergency today after deadly flooding took over several neighborhoods. Fox 46 meteorologist Elisa Rafa has been keeping a close eye on the levels, and she's live from Riverside Drive tonight. And how are the levels looking there now, Elisa? Honestly, they're looking much better now than they did this morning, but obviously you can see behind me things are still not ideal here. The water here, this is where the driveway to this home starts, okay? The water is still going up most of the driveway. You can still see where the pavement is wet, and this morning the water was crashing against those white garage doors. You can still see some water lines left over from where uh, the water even knocked over some of those garbage uh, pails. Now, if we look at the water levels, okay? This morning we crest at 103 feet. That is three feet above the flood stage. Now many residents here have been uh, comparing this to the floods that happened last year in June of 2019. That crested at 106 feet, six feet above the flood stage. Uh, things still flooded 100 feet down Riverside Drive here. We're at Riverside and Lake Drives uh, where again things are still pretty flooded though getting better. Reporting live on Riverside Drive, meteorologist Elisa Rafa, Fox 46. It's incredible to see those families that have gone through so much there, Elisa. And you, about a half hour ago, you said there were some snakes in the area. You haven't seen any since then, have you? No, you will hear me scream from here to the studio if I see a snake. Don't you worry. <laughs> Just like you and everybody else, stay away from those snakes right now for sure. The flooding over at Riverside Drive, thanks. Now a flood threat stretching into the weekend. Water surrounded several homes along Riverside Drive today with the Catawba River overflowing its banks and taking over the neighborhood. Families warned they could have to flee their homes at any moment. But now they're a little more relieved as those waters do start to recede. Fox 46 meteorologist Elisa Rafa is live there along Riverside Drive for us tonight. Elisa. Yeah, Lindsay, it doesn't look great here, obviously, but things are looking much better than it did this morning when that river crest hit to 103 feet, three feet above the flood stage. You can see behind me, we still have water stretching down Riverside Drive about 100 feet. You're still uh, finding the water where you can't see the road at all. Residents trying to carefully wade their way back and forth to get home. Now, we had emergency crews here overnight last night into this morning 
morning as a precaution with boats to help residents feel comfortable and help them feel safe, but no one needed to be rescued. Uh, no one sought shelter. Most of the residents stayed here, and good news here is the flood waters pretty much just touched the foundation of the homes. No living spaces were impacted. We have a huge presence here, so they know that anything they need, that we're here. We're only seconds away. They feel okay. Um, a lot of people are, feel comfortable enough to stay, so they feel comfortable. Um, luckily, again, the water level wasn't that high as it usually is, so it hasn't got into the homes. And we actually just had residents pass us a couple of minutes ago saying that things are much better here than they were last year in June of 2019. Again, most of the water only touched the foundation here and didn't get into any living spaces. Now, as officers continue to man the block to keep everyone safe, they tell residents, watch out for snakes. I haven't seen any yet, but don't worry. I have my eyes and ears peeled. Reporting live on Riverside Drive, meteorologist Elisa Rafa, Fox 46. Yeah, glad those waters are receding tonight, Elisa. Thanks. Thanks,